Hello everyone, welcome to my apartment. Today we are in my kitchen because today we are doing an apartment tour. I'm so excited. I've been trying to put this off because I'm not done decorating my apartment. I'll be completely honest. There's still a lot of things I want to do. My patio isn't even done. It's not even close to being done. There's no furniture out there. But I'm like, if I keep putting this off, I'm gonna put it off until like I literally move out. And so I was like, might as well just do it. Who really cares? I think it's pretty put together as of right now. There's only a few things that I like wish was different. There might be two. So really, it's not a big deal. So we're done putting it off and today is the day. So if you guys don't know, I actually moved into this apartment back in November. So I've only been in here a few months, but I used to live down the hall at another apartment that was very similar to this one, just a little bit smaller. But we had a uh, leaking problem that was never gonna be fixed and so they were nice enough my apartment was nice enough to let me move to a different unit which thankfully i'm now paying the same price well like 30 dollars more a month but for a much bigger apartment and i'm obsessed and it doesn't leak so we got a win-win-win situation here but yeah so i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of my apartment and i'm so excited just because this is something that i have just like have been dreaming of since i was younger and i like I'd always looked forward to decorating my own place and having a bright white kitchen. And now I'm here in the city that I've always wanted to live in doing it. So I'm just like, I, I don't know. I'm like really proud of myself and I'm really grateful that I'm able to do this, especially for you guys. Like if you guys don't know, this is my full-time job. Like I do content creation, so I wouldn't be here without y'all. So I want to thank you guys for that. I could get emotional talking about it. So we're going to end there. But anyways, yeah, before I ramble on, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the front door. I have to take out my trash. So just ignore that. And this is another thing that I have to deal with. So we're just, whatever. Here we have my trash can. It is gold. She's from Target. I love it. I was actually looking for a gold trash can for the longest time. And I found one that I loved, but it was like $200. I was like, you think I'm buying? A $200 trash can, you're wrong. So instead I spent 40, which is still freaking expensive. Why are trash cans so expensive these days? Got the thermostat over here. Um, I don't have anything on this wall yet. And here, this door, it's actually the water heater. I don't have access to it. It's locked. There's not even a handle. It's, it's just locked. And then the next door is actually the laundry closet. Look how freaking big my washer and dryer is. My last apartment was not nearly this size. Like there was room at the top to put my detergent and everything and now there's not. And so I was like, well, where the heck do I, am I supposed to put all my stuff? Well, I got this magnet um, laundry holder thingy from Target. I will link that down below. I will be linking so many things. So whatever I mention, it will be linked down below, I hope. And if there's something I missed, let me know. But it's really nice for if you have like a situation like this, but I can hold my detergent in there and everything. And then there's also just some extra tripods in here, a rolling dolly, a mop, a yoga mat, nothing special. It's just laundry. From my perspective, you are in the kitchen. So let's flip around. Okay, see front door, kitchen. Just trying to give y'all like painting the picture of how this apartment looks. Okay, kitchen. <laughs> it's so big. <laughs> There's just like so much room for activities. I love it. Um, and I also have a flipping fracking pantry. I didn't have a pantry map. Yo, I don't remember the last time I had a pantry. I don't think I've ever had a pantry in any of my apartments. Oh wait, no, I did my sophomore year. Um, but that was an exception. That was a large freaking apartment. I don't even... So yes, here's my pantry. I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. <laughs> Ta-da! Y'all are probably gonna think that I starve myself on a daily basis. I don't. I just, I, I feel like I'm an ingredient household. You, you, you know what I'm saying? We just have a lot of random things. I'm not gonna go one by one. We got PB Fit, some rice cakes, granola, oats, mini muffins. Love me some mini muffins. Um, then we have like pre-workout. <laughs> That's actually all pre-workout right there. Vitamins, and then down below we also have protein too. And then up top, um, I only use the first shelf for food, but we have some veggie straws, popcorn, noodle soup, chicken noodle soup, green bean, just like random crap. Up here I have just extra tissue boxes and then my steamer. There's just random extra things up here. Yeah, that's my pantry. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> and then we have my fridge. Again, nothing special here. I have some pictures of some of my friends. I have my mom, Lauren, my friend Selena. I've got my friend Josh up here other random stickers, but we've got some food up in here. 
la la la. I'm not gonna go into detail on that because that would be boring. And my freezer, ta-da! And then we have a built-in wine rack for all of the wine that I don't drink. I, I hate wine. Instead, I have an espresso martini, Aperol. This is Prosecco, actually. That is wine for looks. And then vodka. <laughs> That's all I got up there. Moving on to this corner, we have Marley's cat food. She has been using this jar. I say she. I have been using this jar for God knows how long. And we've got a little scooper in here, too. I don't remember where I got this jar. Honestly, it could have been home goods. Then in this corner, I just have, it's like decorative. I have my favorite tequila. Y'all, this is the cucumber jalapeno, 21 seeds. I'm obsessed. Um, I make spicy margs. I was about to say all the time, not all the time, sometimes. And then I have pink tequila. Y'all, it's actually sparkly because I put glitter in it. I actually use this for my 23rd birthday. And then I also have this like Vouv Rosé. Uh, they've never been opened. I literally just bought them because I thought they were cute and would look good in my kitchen. And so here they are. And then I have very, very ripe bananas. Unpopular opinion, I like eating them better this way. You're gonna think I'm psycho. Then I have my kitchen utensils right over here. These are from Amazon as well as the holder with them. Um, I think they're linked on my storefront as like under home essentials. I'll link them individually as well though. These cabinets don't really have anything in them other than like my toaster, my milk frother that I don't use to froth milk. I use it to stir like pre-workout. My blender and then I also have a box full of medicine. And then these cabinets, wine glasses, just cute little um, cups of some sort. These are like my fun cups. Does that make any sense? Just like the fun cup cabinet. Moving on over here, this is where my other cups are. So I have these, these are from Amazon as well. These little mugs are from Home Goods. These are so cute. This is from Amazon too. Like, hello, they're iridescent. And then over here, I have just like olive oil, just like your go-to. And then this is actually specifically for salt and pepper. So I don't have any salt and pepper shakers, but I just have them in these little containers. And flaky salt is top tier. I don't care what anyone says. I will spend the extra money on flaky salt. So that's what's in this little container. And I believe I got that from Home Goods too. And my knife set, I love this knife set. It's so cute. It's white and gold from Amazon. Like all of the utensils, they're gold. I feel like it's kind of unnecessary to go through like the cabinet space, but I mean, this is where my silverware is. The other ones, my air fryer is under there. Like it's really not that interesting. And then here is my spice cabinet. So we've got spices over here and then extra just random things. We got tahine, hot honey. I just really like this spinny thing. It's really easy to like look for everything. And I've been wanting to get like stairs, you know, the seasoning step stair thing. I do have regular salt in here. Don't y'all fret. I don't just use flaky salt on everything. Um, I also have like peppercorns in here too. So it's not just that little container. And then here's where I keep all my plates and bowls. Um, I normally have more in here, but I just ran the dishwasher, so these plates and bowls are from Crate and Barrel. And then here I just have pictures of me and my friends. Um, this is Nick, Emma, and Chandler, and then I have a picture of me and Lauren, and I just thought that was so cute, because like, what else are you supposed to put on this like giant cabinet of open space? I'm not obviously one of those people that keeps like appliances, like toasters, air fryers, blenders on top of my counter. Like I like having it clean. Clean and pristine. So that's why there's like nothing on here. Okay, next drawer or next cabinet is where a majority, well, Marley's cat bowls and plates are go here, are go here, they go here, but you know, they're in the dishwasher at the moment. And then up here we just have extra flower vases, shot glasses, and then my five pound thing of red pepper, cause we like red pepper in this household. And then my favorite corner, with the cutie shelves. This is a part of, this is like another thing that I have yet to finish decorating. Uh, this is just like a little wooden piece. I believe it's from World Market 2. I have a picture of me, Erica, and MK here from a concert that we went to last summer. And then there's just this little plant thing. My Sunno speaker, which I freaking love. I have another one in my bedroom. And then up here, I just have like random knickknack things. This is actually from Christmas, but I, I think it still fits the vibe. I think it's really cute. It's just like a little pink truck. And then this gold looking thing, flowers, this candle, a picture of Lauren and I, and then whatever the heck that is. 
I don't know what to do with the rest of these shelves. Um, I could add like books of, of some sort. I just, I haven't yet. And then we have the sink. The sink is absolutely massive. Like, I'm sorry, what are you supposed to do with all of this? I'm used to like a dividing thing, but I actually really like it. I love the way it looks. It's very modern looking. And then this giant sink or faucet and you're able to move this around. I really like the look of that. I don't know about y'all. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I, I personally am a fan. And then my paper towel holder, I think it's from Target. And then over here, I just have hand soap, dish soap, and this little brush thing on a little plate. The plate is from Crate and Barrel, I love it. And this is all from Amazon as well. And then I have a little scrub daddy and another brush to clean dishes and whatnot. So we're gonna move on to this side of the, uh, blah, 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 the apartment. We have a little makeshift dining room. I really wasn't sure what to do with the space when I moved in here because my last apartment did not have, like it wasn't nearly as long. So I didn't even have anything here. Like my couch would stop here and then my kitchen would start here. So like I didn't have much room to work with, but now in this apartment that's bigger, I do. So I was like, I'm gonna add a little seating area. Unfortunately, I don't know where this, is where this table is from because I did buy it from someone off of Facebook Marketplace. If I were to guess though, it looks like an Ikea table, you know? And then I bought these uh, chairs from Amazon, which I didn't know I bought them used because they came in with like a leg, like a foot thing missing. I was like, yo, this thing is wobbling. Um, I'd like to get like my money, like partial refund back because like the chairs are working. He's like, you know, you bought it used, right? And I was like, I didn't even know you could do that on Amazon. I had no idea, but whatever. So I got these black chairs. I'm still debating on if I should get like a rug to go under here. I don't know because of the rug in the living room. My first thought was like a cowhide rug, but like a white and gold. I don't know. I don't know. TBD, I guess. And then this area, this section, I really, I just, I just love the way, I'm so proud of myself with the way this actually ended up like looking. This does not look centered. What is happening here? So this table, mirror accent table is from Ross. I actually got it gold and then I spray painted it black. And on the top, I just have these plants, a picture of me and my dad, matches, and then a picture of my mom and Wendell. And then above it, we have a black circle mirror. But yeah, I really like the pairing of these two things. Uh, and then right here, I just have a little Roomba, my robot vacuum, which I love. This plant, I think it's from Home Goods. Marley likes eating on it. That's why it's kind of, it looks not too great. And then this lamp, can you even see that lamp? Now you can. This lamp is from Target. I think it's really cute, fits the vibe. And I can change the color of it. So it can be like red, blue, pink. We could have a strobe moment if you wanted dim it, make it brighter. And this light bulb was $10 from Target. I, such a big fan. And then over here we have one of my favorite spots, parts of my apartment is my mirror. I've had this since my sophomore year of college. And then next to it, I just have this giant vase with like, you know, the fake pompous grass looking thing or whatever this is called. These are all from, this whole thing is from World Market actually, but I just created the bundle myself. And I just really like the colors. It brings in a little bit more color with this little pink thing, but I think it's so cute. And so I can take my little outfit pictures here in the mornings or whatever. But I think it opens it up a little bit. Cause like, what else are you supposed to put on a wall like this? And then we move into my living room. I don't like the way this lighting is. That looks so much better. Okay, there we go. I love this couch. It was a dream to have a cloud couch. Not like, you know, the uh, Restoration Hardware $13,000 couch, no. I actually got this from Facebook Marketplace for, I think, $1,500. It was almost half off, basically, from Coleman Furniture. I will also link it down below. But the girl I got it from, she was awesome. She helped me load the truck. It was like a whole fiasco. I had to rent a U-Haul to get this to my apartment. Also this pillow, this is a rainbow pillow. It is from World Market. I just thought it like kind of matched the whole blush pink red vibe, boho vibe that we have going on. But this art above the wall is actually, I made it myself, you know, like the whole plaster art. I just got these huge canvases and put plaster on it and called it a day. The only thing that sucks is that they're very, very fragile. And if they were to fall down, it would shatter. Everything would shatter. It would just be 
not great, but I feel like if you were to buy something like this, it would be like hundreds of dollars. I think it might have cost me a hundred dollars, like with both of the canvases and the plaster. It might have been less than that, actually. It might have been like 70. So if you're thinking about DIYing some things, highly recommend doing that. And then here we have a coffee table. This is from. I think it's Ikea, yes, but I was really going for a circle coffee table. This is the first time I've ever had like a coffee coffee table because my last couch had like an ottoman on it. Um, I'll be honest, I kind of miss the ottoman because I would always just like roll it up to the couch and use it as like a foot rest. So that's the only thing that I miss about having an ottoman, but I really like the look of this coffee table. Down below, I just have this tray, which is from Target, and I just have a book on here with extra remotes. And then on the top, I have a candle, um, coasters and then this little remote holder from Amazon as well. They don't sell it anymore, unfortunately. It's so cute though, it's like a little gold leopard. And then over here is probably one of my favorite corners. This is a chair that I got from Amazon as well and I love it. When I first got it, like they shipped this thing as is. Like there was no putting it together. It was just in a box this large and I was like, oh, good. But it is so comfy, like I, if this had like a, like it wasn't just whatever this is, iron. I don't know if it's iron. <laughs> like I would sleep on it. Well, I could probably take a nap. I don't know, but it is such a vibe. It is so cozy. Uh, they sell it a lot of different places, but I think it's probably cheapest on Amazon. And then we have my fireplace. It's not emitting heat right now. Like I can just have it on as like a vibe. So I freaking love this. No, it's not part of the apartment. Like I just, I got it to put here. I think a lot of people think it's just like a part of this building. I'm like, no, no, that's my doing. Again, it's also from Amazon. And then I have my TV above it. And for anyone comments on it, yes, I know. I still have the feet on here, but we've been having issues with these feet. They will not come off. Um, I will have to saw them off because the screws in them are completely stripped. So there's really no hope for it, unfortunately. And moving on to this corner, we have Marley's cat tree. This is from Etsy. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Marley loves it. She loves laying in this hammock. She also sleeps on here sometimes. She goes in, like she uses the whole thing. I love it, but I saw it on an ad on Instagram and it was like one of those ads that I'm like, oh my gosh, I need this in my life. So I actually got it for Christmas. So thank you, Gammy, for getting it for me. I am obsessed. Marley thanks you as well. Yeah, I really do love this. It fits the vibe of the apartment too, which I think is really nice. And then over here we have a blanket basket. You can't go wrong with a blanket basket. And one thing about my last apartment is it did not have a balcony. It was just a Juliet. But this one has more than just a balcony. I mean, it. It's not more than just a balcony. It's it's massive, okay? This thing is giant. And I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, I'm excited to get it decorated. There's nothing out here. I just wanna show you how big, because it's actually insane. Now you cannot tell how big this is just from this angle, but like we've got so much room. Um, I'm planning on putting like a couch here just like a small little sectional couch and small little table. And then on this side where y'all are here, like where y'all are placed. I'm gonna put a little like bistro breakfast table of some sort. But yeah, I just have all of this room with nothing in it. And then here is the other side. Right now I just have Marley's old cat tree. So if she wants to vibe out here, she can. And then I just have some things in storage right there. But yeah, that is the balcony. Now we're gonna go back inside and I'll show you guys the rest of the place. And next we have my bedroom and it's very cozy in here. It's usually not nearly as bright, but the lighting without, yeah, we're gonna turn that back off. This is my bedroom and she cutie. I'm kind of a fan. My bed is from Wayfair. I will link it down below in case you guys are interested. It really wasn't too bad. Um, it is a platform bed, so I don't need like a box spring or anything like that. I just need a mattress. Those are my go-to beds. I mean, what's the purpose in having to buy a box spring on top of the bed frame? You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like, might as well just keep with platform bed. But my duvet cover is from Brooklinen and then my duvet like insert is just from Amazon. My sheets are from Brooklinen as well. These pillows are from Target. This is from Home Goods. I think that's from Home Goods. I'm like 90% sure it's Home Goods, okay? And then I have my little jelly cat cloud. Isn't he cute with the little legs? I'm obsessed. And then I also have a blanket over here, which is also from Home Goods. So the vibe is like pink 
a blush pink. There it is. And then I have these three frames. They are from Target. These are actually in my last apartment whenever I used to live with my roommates and we had other prints in them. But basically we just bought gold frames. I think they're 24 by 36. Well, hi, Marley. You want to say hi to everyone? Yeah, come here. You want to say hi? <laughs> well, she's going to join us. So yeah, we just bought these frames and then the inserts like the posters in them they're actually digital downloads that i purchased from etsy and got them printed at cvs but yeah that's really all that is if you guys are interested um the digital downloads are linked down below as well but i just thought that was like such a cheap way to get like wall art just get some digital downloads you can also just like make it yourself if you really wanted to like on canva or pig monkey and i mean if you're artsy like that, I don't know. And then over here we have my nightstands and I have one on either side, which is something that I have always wanted. Like I wanted the traditional like bed, nightstand, nightstand look of a room. And I did that in my last apartment, but then when I got a vanity, there just wasn't enough room for it because the room was so tiny, like I said. But with this larger room, we're able to do it. So yeah, these nightstands I actually got from someone off of Facebook. I got them both for $500, but I believe I've seen them on Overstock. And then this lamp is from Target. Both of them are from Target. I wanted it to be, you know, the same. I have a little clock here from Target as well. And then my Sono speakers. I love these. My dad got them for me for Christmas several years ago. And so I have one here and then one in my kitchen, like I said earlier. And I can play either like different songs, like I can play one song in here, one song in the kitchen, or play the same song across the whole apartment. I really love it. I also use this as my sound machine at night. I found like a 12 hour like brown noise podcast on Spotify that I just play every single night and it is amazing. And then Marley's lovely litter box. I, I really don't care that the litter box is here out in the open. There's no other place for me. Why does this keep doing that? <laughs> Why are you out of focus? I'm right here. Thank you. But yeah, no, I, it's just going to be there for now. And then over here we have my closet. It is nothing special. I guess I can show y'all. Okay. Welcome to my closet. Ta -da. I actually just cleaned it out recently and I'm selling some I'm selling some things on my Depop. So if you guys are interested in all of that, that will also be linked down below. I have a few more things left. I just have all my like dresses on this side. If I should do like a full closet tour, like a video on that, I will. Because it is organized in like sections. I also have my Alex 9 drawer unit here, my shoes here. It is a little bit smaller than my last apartment's closet, but um, we made it work. That's my closet. Thank you for coming in. And then here we have my vanity. And this is something that I have just been wanting like an area for because I love this mirror so much. I've had this since like, I don't know, my sophomore year of college, I think. My parents got it for my birthday. But I freaking love this. The lighting is amazing for my makeup, but I keep all my makeup in here. But this is from Amazon. I believe this is also from Amazon too. And then this stool is from Target. Here we have my dresser. And this actually used to be out in my living room. It used to be where like my TV would be and it would just be above my dresser, which honestly it didn't look bad. If this could stop blurring, that'd be freaking great. Like what? Why do they do that? So yes, this is my dresser. She's from Home Depot. I know this is a blank wall and I've been wanting to put like a circle mirror above it or something. I just haven't found anything that I liked. If you guys have any other suggestions other than like a mirror, maybe let me know. But I feel like a mirror would look good here. I have pictures up here of my friends Sydney and MK. Those are the girls I used to live with last year. I love them so much. And then right here, I just have little flowers in my Louis Vuitton vase. And y'all, this thing is so cool. I got it from Etsy, if you guys are interested. She's a heavy one. She's hefty, but cute. And then I have a little... It's called a booty planter. It's literally just like a butt. And I have nothing in it. I, I know. Then I have a candle and I am obsessed with this candle. I got it from Hobby Lobby. They were 50% off. So of course I got two. The Exotic Oasis, that's the one that's on my dining room table in there. It smells so good. And then on this corner, I have a gold. What is this? <laughs> balloon animal. I have a gold sparkly balloon animal. I thought it was adorable and then I have two candles and then also a picture of me and Bailey from graduation in front of Brian Denny Stadium. RIP Alabama. Y'all, I miss college so much sometimes. So yeah, that is what is up here. But yeah, let me know what to go on this freaking wall. And over here is the wall that I told y'all would like normally, like if this was a square room, this would be a corner, but this is where my living room wall is. Like what are you supposed to put on this? Nothing besides the neon sign. Is this blurry? 
I was about to throw hands. So yeah, I got this for my 21st birthday. I think it is so cute. It says choose to shine. I think it's a perfect spot because like, it's just like a cool little accent wall. You know what I mean? And we have my window with my curtains. Um, these are from Amazon. I think they're like $10. And Marley likes to sit up on here sometimes. I'm surprised she's not up here right now, but it just looks out to my balcony and like the inside courtyard of my apartment building. And then on the side, of course, we have another nightstand. And of course we have a matching lamp to the other side. This is from Target, just like the other one. And then I have a little tray. This is from World Market. And then this just holds my remote to my floor fan over there. And then the remote to these lamps. And then I also just have a little body glitter. It's Tom Ford, she's cutie. I just thought it would look nice there. All right, moving on to the next room. Before we move into my bathroom, so right over here is like the hallway to like the main, the main event, the living room, kitchen and everything. And then you're in my bedroom right now. This is my bathroom. So like this little area is just, I don't wanna call it a hallway. I don't know what you would call this, but it's just like a little, an entryway to the rest of the apartment. Here we have this. I have a picture. It's an, actually an oil painting of me and Marley. Yes, I did used to have blonde hair in case you guys were not there for that era of mine. I actually have had blonde hair basically my entire life until up about two years ago. I've been wanting to get this framed for a long time now has not been a priority of mine, but I plan to get it framed eventually. Who knows, because I've had it for now four years, so. <laughs> and then we have my wonderful selection of perfumes on top of this shelf, which is from World Market. Sol de Janeiro or something. You get the gist. We got Marc Jacobs, Juicy Couture, My Signature Scent, Tiffany, um, Billie Eilish, and then Victoria's Secret Teas. These are like all of the perfumes that I own, and I just thought it would look cute, like, on the way out because it's like grabbing my purse and then got a spray perfume and then out the door. You get, you get the vibe? But yeah, I just keep a lot of my go-to bags here and then I thought these bandanas were cute to hang just because they had little bedazzles on it and then have my car keys and everything. Over here is a corner that I don't like to show many people because I don't know what to do with it. It is a junk corner and you know, I've actually, I'll just show you what it looks like. It's tragic. This is my junk corner. Uh, there is no organization to it whatsoever. I literally have my like silver play button over here. I don't even know if you can you see that Like I don't know where to put this Not a clue. So it's just gonna go there for now. Oh my god. Don't follow me now I've honestly thought about this like a yesterday What if I just got the measurements of each shelf and created like buckets to go in because I could easily get you know like a rectangular basket but I can only put like one in there and it would look silly. So I feel like if I were to make my own <laughs> somehow, it would look really good. You know, just grab some wood from Home Depot, a saw and some screws and some paint and you're good to go. I really don't think that would be a bad idea. So you just like make the shape of the shelves cause it's such an, it looks like a, uh, what's the shape? A trapezoid? Pretty sure it is a trapezoid. <laughs> math, geometry. And so then I can just put all this crap in said bucket so it doesn't look like this. Because how else are you supposed to like decorate these things? Like only so many knickknacks are this small. Like my hand, why is there so many? So yeah, just like more storage, I guess. I'll figure that out eventually, just not today. Welcome to my bathroom. I don't know how you're gonna fit in here, to be honest. Okay, so here is my kitchen sink, or kitchen, no, no, bathroom sink. <clears throat> Sorry, I thought someone was knocking on my door. That was weird. I don't even know what that was. But this is how my bathroom is normally set up. Like, I didn't just like set out these towels for the video. No, I, I actually, have these set out and they're mainly for whenever I go and remove my makeup so or if guests are over they use them as like guest towels like hand towels you can use it as that as well but I don't really have guests over that much <laughs> so um it's mainly just for me so I thought this would just be really cute this tray is also from world, world market tissues I know we got silver and gold clashing here but if you know me I'm I mix metals all the time I have my toothbrushes here and then I also have my lash and brow serum and then here I have a little candle that's like of a woman's body. I think it's so like cool and like minimalist vibe, you know? But it's from Amazon. Then we got the sink. And then I have a little soap dispenser. It is from Home Goods. And then I have my hair growth serum here. So I remember to use it. But no, I really do love 
these part like this part of the bathroom because there's so much storage so i just have like all of you know like deodorant hair stuff there's extra towels lotion a whole bunch of crap in here self tan extra bags my facial steamer and then this one is where i keep my laundry so i just have a basket of all of my dirty clothes in there which I think is really nice. And then on this side of the bathroom, we obviously have the toilet and next to it, we have this little table that I found from Marshall's. And I actually saw this idea on Pinterest and I just love the idea of having like a little table next to it. There's some space there. I got these little fake tulips from Amazon. And then this is a candle that I got for Christmas. And then I have, you know, the um, poopery spray. This stuff is heavenly. I also have a bathtub tray right here, which is also from Amazon as well. And hot take. So whenever I got the shower curtain, I would always keep the shower curtain closed. But whenever I did that, I feel like it would just close off the entire bathroom and it would make it look smaller. So now I keep it open and I just think it looks so much better. I feel like a lot of people are probably gonna hate that idea. But I like it. The shower curtain, I believe, is from Target. All of my shampoo and stuff is on this little shelf. There's no shelves in my shower besides this one. So I just make it work. Down below here, I have a basket just full of towels, just extra towels. Um, I could easily put it in those cabinets right there, but I kind of like them just chilling in the bathroom. I think it's cute. <laughs> I don't know. But the basket is from World Market too. I am now realizing how many World Market things I own. And then here I get questions all the time about where this is from. It is from Etsy. I will link it down below as well. But I just wanted, this is exactly what I was envisioning for my bathroom. But I was like, I just need like a black outline, like a silhouette something. And ta-da, I thought it's fitting because she's got a towel on her head. Like it's, it's perfect. It was a little expensive but I think it's totally worth it. And that is it for my apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe gave you all some ideas to decorate your own, but yeah, it still has just like small little teeny tiny details that I need to work on. But if you guys are interested in me doing like a full balcony makeover, I'm probably gonna do it anyway in case y'all don't want it, but I think it would be so interesting and so fun to do. I just need to actually get stuff for it is the problem. But if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video of mine and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.